Why, alleluia, is the highest praise? Hallelujah is the highest praise because the name of the Creator is embedded in the word Hallelujah. If you listen to the pronunciation at the end of Hallelujah, you will hear the Y sound. The letter J did not exist until the 1500s. Hence, it was the letter Y. Therefore, Y is the correct letter, not J. Psalm 68 verse 4 have the name of the Creator as Jah. It says, Sing unto God, sing praises, to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Jah, and rejoice before him. Once again, replace the letter J with the letter Y, and you get the creator name Yah. Hallelujah. Greetings everyone, welcome. The Most High, our Creator of heaven and earth, our Heavenly Father, is calling His people to repentance from the sins of idolatry. As written in scriptures, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Brothers and sisters, you have to study the scriptures for yourselves and rely on the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. You cannot rely on another man or woman to teach you the truth, brothers and sisters, and hence the reason why the majority of the world is being led astray. In this video, I will share with you biblical proof that Christ, the one whom the world call Jesus, never claimed to be a God or our Savior. Study the book of Matthew. As our Heavenly Father said, that my people perish for lack of knowledge. We as a people are not truly keeping the most high laws, statutes, and commandments. Christ said that we will do greater things than he. I don't see anything greater going on in any of those church brothers and sisters. The truth of the matter is that these churches are operating like a circus instead of a circuit where they should have real connection to the divine source, the spirit of our creator, of our heavenly father. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 7 verse 14 Our Heavenly Father said, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, 
Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Therefore, brothers and sisters, if us as a people who are the children of Israel, and the true name for Israel is Yashrahel or Yishrahel. If we continue to sin against the Most High, if we continue to commit idolatry and other sins against the Most High, we will forever remain in bondage spiritual bondage which also leads to physical bondage and hence we must make the choice to repent greetings everyone welcome whoever have ear to hear let them hear what the spirit of our creator our heavenly father is saying hallelujah brothers and sisters please take heed and repent accordingly i am well aware brothers and sisters that some of you truly believe that the promised land is in today's israel if you believed in the true promised land that our heavenly father has prepared for his elect then you would repent hear ye the words of our heavenly father his commands and his laws isaiah 43 verse 10 to 13 says he are my witnesses, saith the Lord, Yah, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, Yah. And beside me there is no Savior. I will repeat verse 11. I, even I, am the Lord, Yah. And beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved and I have shewed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? Exodus 20, verse 3 to 6. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord, Yah, thy God, am a zealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. 
John 4 verse 24 God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Brothers and sisters, there is no image included. I will repeat John 4 verse 24. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah.